There's a pizza right, episode. Right. Well, We're not going to do it, though. Oatmeal. You're talking about oatmeal. Like, shoot it. You're like, oh, it's dope. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I do it at 8 in the morning. I don't want to hear it. I'm done. Guys. Guys, I just need a pizza recipe for this pizza episode. For the last time, what's so bad about this one? Let me take a look at it because I know much more about pizza than Joe. So oh. let me, yep. All right. Obviously, just looking through it, scanning through, your pizza's going to burn in my oven. Oh, in your oven? Yeah, in my you oven. You about me making a pizza that's going to burn in your 900-degree oven that you built yourself because... You said, that's, a, yeah, a real that's right. Expensive to buy, but I'm gonna make my own pizza oven. I have a recipe for you. Oh my god! Use this one right here. Done. Oh, oh no! Hold on one second, you Joker. Let me take a look at that one. Okay, first it's nicely crumpled. Uh, all right, yes. this isn't gonna work because your sauce ain't even sauce. Looks like you're making a neutral bullet. And plus, under procedure here, you have the word pizza written with one Z. Whatever. Vico, if you want a recipe, here's the holy grail, my friend. Let me get a look at that one. Okay, two Z's. Good start. Uh, Joe, real quick, though, what is a rotary evaporator? You don't have one? Nerd. Is this... All right, this is getting too complicated. Let's... Which one is the best one? I just need one. M mine. Mine. Just use mine. Okay, why don't we do this? Let's just each make our own. And we'll see what happens from there, okay? So why don't you say we just get got it? it. All right, let's do it. All right, you got it. Morning. So I guess by now we realize there's no best way to cook a pizza, although there are a lot of best ways to cook a pizza. So for a more traditional approach, let's shoot it over to old chef Hee Haw down in Hill Country where he built his own pizza oven and get a little more insight on his take on this delicious dough pie. Oh, hey there. I didn't see you. I'm just chopping some wood from my pizza oven I built. Jesus Christ. What? You know, pizza is traditionally made in a wood-fired oven that typically reach 800 to 1,000 degrees. You know, pizza is also a dish that was made in Italy from flatbreads in the 18th century. Are you actually gonna cook anything over there or are you just gonna flap those gums all day? All right there, Joe. How about if you just take a chill pill over there, guy? What the hell is that chill pill? <laughs> no, no, no. We got all day, sweetheart. Hey, I found it for you. So today, we're using oak. Why oak? Three reasons. It's tasty, gets up the temperature, it's traditional. Yo, you think you might be able to send me some of that shit? Wait a minute, Derek. I, I think I got it. I got an idea. I got some wood here. And um, let me see these guys. It's in a, a little cheaper than the postage. Okay. Hey, that's not fair. Just throw a balloon. Oh yeah? Not anymore. Jesus. Now that we fix that. One stick. Let's make some pie. All right, we're gonna start with the dough. Some flour in a mixing bowl, add some salt, yeast and olive oil get all that shit in there nice and pretty all right now you're gonna need to get her wet go ahead and throw some water in that bitch uh, you can mix this shit together on the mixer if you like for about a minute on low speed otherwise you'll wear the flour or you could be a fucking strong man like me and use my big ass pythons there you go look at those forearms all right next we're gonna take it to spin city Go ahead and spin it. This is where the integrity, the structure, the identity of the dough. This is the backbone of the dough right here. Don't skip it or you'll be f***ed. And we don't want to be f***ed unless you want to be f***ed. All right. We're going to go ahead and take this out of the bowl and grab a big ass container because it's going to double in size. Get all that out of there in the container and you're going to put a lid and see it in the morning. Boom. Done.
Good morning. We have here f***ing dough. It has bubbles in it, like I was saying. It has yeast. It's alive and well, and we're going to portion this shit out. So take it out of the container, put it on the counter. This shit is sticky as f***, so use some flour to prevent sticking. You're going to push out all the air. Get ready for portioning, and you're going to portion it to 8 ounces within an ounce or so of 8 ounces. All right, you could be a He-Man like me and use this big-ass f***ing bench scraper. Look at that thing. All right, scale it. All right, we're going to ball that shit up. And make sure it's uniform. What starts round, ends round. Okay? Nice and pretty. Round there we go. Nice and circle. Okay, put them on a tray that's greased. Brush them with a little olive oil. Stick the shit in the cooler. Boom. Ah, oh, shit. All right. Forgot about the sauce. God damn it. All right. So, take all those ingredients. Throw them in a fucking pot. Take a stick blender. Break that shit up. Stir it. Don't burn it. And cool that shit down before you put it on the dough. Building the fire. Here's how I do it. A pile of f***ing sticks, put two logs in a tumbleweed fire starter, ignite it, and let the flames of fury wreak it. You want this f***ing oven to be 700 to 1,000 degrees. Allow the embers to coat the bottom of the oven to get that floor hot. Once that's hot, go ahead and take your wire brush and clean it because you don't want ash on the bottom of your pizza. Okay, we got a counter. We need something here, maybe some flour. Okay, put that shit down. Slam the dough ball. Boom. Take your sausage fingers. Go and toss around a little bit. Push your fingers to the inside out, forming that beautiful crust. And look at that stud. More tiny stallion right there. Stretch it a little bit. Don't push your fingers through the dough. Be gentle. Give it a toss. Give it another toss. Oh, f what the heck? Joe, you can have that one. Oh, well that dough's overproofed. You're gonna have that every now and then. It might actually make a really good starter for my pizza dough though. Let's try that again, of course. Now that Joe has his dough, we'll take ours and put a little flour, stretch it out, starts round and round. Stretch it out nice and easy. Don't poke through it, be careful. Use the weight of the dough to stretch itself. Nice and round, there you go. A little toss, another little toss. Perfect. Nice and round, starts round and round. More. All right, grab our peel. I made that too. So go ahead and throw some cornmeal on it. That's gonna act as the wheels to move that pizza from the peel to the oven. All right, get that dough on there. That's a 10 inch uh, dough. And now that we got a nice round, let's add some sauce. All that shit we blend it up. Uh, about a, I use about a ounce, one and a half ounce on a 10 inch pie. Really quick, laser speed sauce action. Put our cheese on there. I use mozzarella, a little provolone. Yeah, whatever you wanna use. Uh, yeah, these nice big chunks of mozzarella and then some basil. Give it a little shimmy. Make sure that is going to slide right off into the oven or we'll be screwed. And there we go. Employ that thing right in there. And this oven is very hot. Remember, it's going to cook quick. You can see the bubble uh, starting to form. On one side mainly, you got to give it a turn. These are long offset spatula that I made, of course. Give it another turn, a little bit of turn. There we go. Do not take your eyes off this at all. This oven is very hot. It needs to be tended to and rotated often. Keep it rotated in its same spot. Don't move it around the oven too much. Now that it's cooked most of the way, we're gonna pull it back a little bit. It's a little bit lighter, lighter heat. Um, so we just wanna cook that dough enough and just get some color on it. As we turn, get out of the intense heat. Back on the peel, pull it out. And beautiful, moi, Italian stein, if I'd say so. Cut this in quarters, halves, eat the damn thing whole if you want. 
Um, and here we go. I cut mine into fours and boom, baby. And there you have it, sissies. Old school twisted steel and sex appeal pizza right there. Have a bite? Nope, for me. Boom. All right, jabroni, you're real cute and all, but why don't you let Uncle Joe show you some grown-up stuff? So for my pizza, here's what you need to do. Me, get it? Jesus Christ. Ah, here we go. You got a bad attitude, Halliday. Anyway, in your stand mixer, please add your water. I like this to be about 70 degrees because it will heat up during the process of mixing. In the water, add your yeast, double O flour, diastatic malt powder, followed by kosher salt, extra virgin olive oil, and then I like to add a poolish. I made this poolish by putting 50 grams water, 50 grams flour, and half gram of yeast in a bowl. Let it sit covered on the counter overnight to ferment. If you don't have time to make a poolish and have some pizza dough laying around that's old, throw it in there. Lock that bad boy into place, start it on medium low speed, and we're gonna let it mix on medium low for about 20 minutes until it pulls away from the sides of the bowl nicely. After that, cover with plastic rack, bulk ferment, and let it proof for two hours until it looks like this. Perfect. All right, you see what I'm doing here? Somebody wise once told me this, that even monkeys use tools. So invest in a bench scraper. This dough is sticky. I'm telling you that right now, forewarning you. Get it all out on your table. Don't throw any flour down. Don't be a sissy. Cut it with a hanky and hopefully nail it in one shot. Okay, work quick with this. The faster you move your hands, the less it's gonna stick to you. Look at that cell structure. Mm -mm -mm. It's gonna make for a beautiful pizza. Okay, move everything out of your way. See how much this is sticking to you? Do not be tempted to add flour at this stage. Just move your hands faster. I'm holding it in my right hand, and then with my left hand, that's one to watch. I'm folding the dough underneath to create a perfectly smooth ball, pinching off the bottom so there's no weak spots and it doesn't lose its integrity. Repeat the process with all your pizza doughs and set them on a tray. All right, let's have a real talk here. You don't need a fancy rotary evaporator to make pizza sauce. You can still make a killer pizza sauce at home and it's pretty easy. I'm gonna show you how. As long as you follow a few simple guidelines, you'll be okay. The most important thing to remember is whatever Halliday showed you earlier, forget about it. Him using that $1.99 stick blender to puree all the seeds together, that's just gonna make his sauce turn out like he is. Bitter. Watch and learn. Put your tomatoes inside of a food mill. Remember, even monkeys use tools. We talked about this. Mill those babies so they're perfectly smooth. Here's what it's gonna look like. So go with tomato juice. I add tomato paste. Don't tell anybody, do not judge me. All right, some kosher salt, olive oil, and then dried oregano. All right, rub that oregano into your hands. It's gonna release its essential oils, make it delicious. Whisk this to combine. It's gonna look really thin at first, but the more you whisk it, it's gonna become a full emulsification. It's gonna be nice and thick, ready for your pizza dough. See how it's sticking up right here? Beautiful. Put it in a small bowl and don't forget to taste it or have a friend taste it if you'd like. Whatever, it's your sauce. Here you dunce, why don't you try some of this? Let me see, can you taste it? Uh, yeah, keep that to yourself. Definitely needs more cumin. Yo, let me, let me try some of that. A rotary evaporator available. It's 2020, it's like an iPhone. Bro. Anyway. Okay, after you rested your pizza dough in the fridge overnight, it's time to roll this bad boy out. Pull a little bit of flour down so it doesn't stick to your hands too much and start pushing the dough from the inside to the outside. You wanna create a nice, flat, even mass here. No need to leave a fake crust on the end. It'll take care of itself in the oven. Now, throw it in the air, start some tricks. All right, try this again. Ow, over the back. Sorry about that, Henry. Let's, uh, 
Let's continue. All right, if you thought that was fancy, watch me slap this pizza out right now. What's that mean? There it is, slapping it. Good luck with this one at home. All right, oh, and uh, slap that like button down below while you have a second. We'd love you for it. Uh, it's good to note that this dough was sitting out for about an hour beforehand. It makes it much easier to stretch out and keep a round shape. Okay, San Marzano tomato sauce in the center of that pizza dough. Look how nice and round this thing is. My gosh, I'm good. It's working from the inside to the outside. Uh, and then we're gonna go on with our fresh basil. I uh, tear it up and put it on underneath the cheese. This way it doesn't burn or fly away in the oven later. You'll see what I mean. Low moisture, whole milk mozzarella. That goes on next, followed by the toppings of your choice. Now, at almost 40 years of age, I do need to find a creative way or two to sneak in some vegetables into my diet. So what better way than to load up a pizza with them? Get some black olives, green peppers, some thinly sliced red onions, and some grape tomatoes that I cut in half. Once all your toppings are on, you want to gonna go back and give the pizza a final stretch. This one's sure a nice round shape, and then it's not gonna stick when it goes in the oven. Speaking of the oven, find the most baller, high-tech oven you can. Get that bad boy up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit, blast the fan on high, open the damper, sit back and enjoy the show. That pizza stone's been in there for about an hour already. So it's gonna hit that and it's gonna start to steam inside. Cause remember that dough's really wet and just enjoy the beautiful sights here. All right, get your pizza out. And then what you're gonna wanna do is fumble trying to get the door closed once, twice, there you go, and present your pizza. Beautiful. Went a little heavy on the sauce right in the crust there, but hey, whatever. It's a grown up pie, why not? There you have it, City Slickers. Uncle Joe's grown up pie. Nice tip sag, sweetheart. You know what? All right, it's cool that you fucking animals. So obviously I don't have a fucking rotary evaporator and I sure as shit ain't about to go build my own fucking pizza oven. Damn sissies. So instead, I got a nice charcoal grill out back. I got this twisted steel and this sex appeal. So why don't we try this? All right, it's another dough montage, you fuckers. Here we go, water, yeast, bloom it, flour. Look at that parchment diaper. Yeah, Get it all in there. Yeah, you see it, Fuck it. Olive oil and some salt. You've already seen this, this is the third one. It's nothing fucking new. Look, more water, ta-da. All right, we're gonna incorporate all this shit. Yeast has gone about two minutes to kind of open up before we dumped all that shit in there. Put it on there, get your dough hook, put it up. We're gonna mix it for about five to seven minutes. It's gonna get a little bit tough on us, obviously. So we're gonna make sure we wanna hold it down. This thing's gonna wanna walk all over your counter, moonwalking and whatever. F it, take it off, it's done. Look at that sh Mwah! Beautiful. Take it off the hook, transfer it to another container. I have this cake pan. I'm just using sh I have in my kitchen, y'all. Let it sit covered for a couple hours and then we'll start portioning. Now we're portioning, look at this, rip that shit. Don't worry about the flour, I don't use it, shut up. We're gonna do the little Peroni method. Work it up back and forth in our hands, seven ounces, booyah. Let it rest. All right, sauce. No rotary evaporator, also no food meal. So I do have this little strainer, San Marzano tomatoes here, and fuck, look at that. It's a fucking Nutribullet. Put some basil in, Kobe. Now we add our tomatoes. That was a garlic clove. We're draining them so we don't have a super saucy sauce when we put our pizza on the grill so it doesn't get soggy and it gets crispy. There's some more salt, you good, you jokers. Make sure you screw on the f me, not again. God damn it, this said this was better. All right, f you ninja blender. Nutribullet it wins. Fight. Let this shit blend and make sure you stare at it like an idiot. All right, take it off and the juice is loose. There we go. Now to sauce our pizza, we already stretched this earlier, remember? Oh, what the f Yeah, thanks Joe. All right, we're gonna sauce it from the middle out to the edge. Again, not a whole lot, we don't want it to get soggy, we want it to be crispy. We got some big old fat mozzarella slices, just put them around like a pinwheel. Big old fat pinwheel of cheese. F yeah, happy birthday to me. 
Uh, some parm would be good, but... You guys got any to spare? All right, thanks again, Joe. Now we got our prosciutto, we got our mozz, we got our parm. Oh, we had some shredded parm, too. There we go, trifecta, nice. Uh, any salty piggy cured whatever meat. I just like prosciutto. Gets, I like the way it gets all crispy out on my grill. This is dried oregano. I'm not going to smack it like Peroni because I'm about to introduce it to some pretty direct 400 degree heat right here on this grill. Look at that sexy bitch. Look at that fucking shirt. Wardrobe, please. Anyway, put it right on. I got a pizza grate. Close the lid. About three minutes later, give it a flip with the tongs. So this pizza is like right over the heat, so don't walk away, you joker. You'll fucking burn the shit. I'm gonna have to watch all two and a half montages again. Close it. There we go. Nice. Thin and crispy backyard barbecue pizza. Go ahead and brush this shit with garlic oil. I love this. Shit. Don't don't skimp on this step. Simmer some garlic in some oil. Do yourself a favor. Fresh cracked pepper. Look at that stud. Nice shirt, Dick. All right. <clears throat> Basil. Now we're gonna put some basil on. I like to rip it right off the stem, and smack it. That's gonna open up, like Joe said earlier, those essential oils. I like it at the very end. This pizza's rip rockin' hot, so it's gonna kind of wilt the basil anyway and release a lot of that aroma. And we don't burn it while we cook it, so just put as much or as little as around as you want. Hit it with a pizza slicer. There you go. I like sixes. You cut them into fours. Whatever. Who cares about counting pizza? There we go. Look at that. So we have our backyard barbecue pizza pie. Bon Don't have to cheat, bitches. meathead. Bitches. That. Nobody got time for that shit. A word? Oh, come on. <laughs>